Hey friends, Luck here. Welcome back to another video. So this video is actually something that I've been seeing in the comment section a lot and that's about how I am able to put Google Play Store or Google services on a Chinese version phone or a Chinese ROM phone. So I'm going to take you guys through the process that I normally use to put Google services on my uh, devices. Most of the devices that I get from China. As I'm in China right now, I do definitely get most of my devices with the Chinese ROM. So I have to find a way to personally put Google services on the device. So the first thing I do normally is I just go to the normal browser and I download APK Pure. So APK Pure is a third party application which carries other different applications as well. So you can directly download the Google Play Store and other Google services from there. You can also download different games and other things from there as well. This is one of the easiest possible ways that you would be able to get Google services while running a Chinese ROM phone. And definitely it has always worked for me with any Chinese ROM phone that I have used. And it is definitely one of the most efficient websites and efficient applications that I have used for a long time. So you can definitely use it to download anything that you can also find on the Google Play Store. So you don't necessarily need to use the Google services as well, but this just depends on your own personal idea of it. So APK Pure is very easy to download. Once you go to the website, you can download APK Pure from the website, or you can download Google services directly from the APK Pure website as well. This just depends on you. If you are in China, then in this sense, you will need to use a VPN. So the best thing for you to do is definitely to download APK Pure first, then download any of the free VPNs. Or if you have a subscription to any VPN, then you should definitely download that as well. With that, you'll be able to download most of the apps that you would get on the Play Store. So how does this affect the phone in general? So from my use, it doesn't affect the phone in any way. The network services are still quite good and all the applications run extremely well although they were downloaded from a third party. So you just have to do basically everything like accepting the device to be able to be installed from a third party and everything else will be okay. So the second way that you can use to download the Google services is if you have an iPhone. So if you have an iPhone or you have an Android phone that you owned previously, then you should download Zender. Zender is definitely one of the easiest ways that you can use to transfer files and transfer data from your previous phones to your current using phone. And you can download, you can transfer Google services. You can also transfer things like APK Pure if it is very difficult for you to download it originally from the website. So these are the two easiest ways that I can tell you guys of how to put the Google services on your device. So this works basically with any Chinese ROM phones or the Chinese ROM phones that I've used this is the process that I normally go through and it does extremely well. And I'm able to use absolutely all the applications properly without having any problems. So, and also something that you should notice that most Chinese phones do come with bloatware. The bloatware might be something that is unique to that particular brand. So you can definitely uninstall most of them and remove most of them from your device, creating more space for you to be able to do different things. So. If you have any questions generally about the process, step-by-step -step process of how to go through downloading the Google Play Store on an Android phone, then definitely you should let me know in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you guys once I see that comment. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next one.